For us zombies fans, there is something that is so epic and mind-blowing, and most people have not gotten to experience it yet. What I'm talking about is getting to play all the official Treyarch zombie maps in virtual reality. It takes the zombies experience to a whole new level, and it is just wild. Treyarch wanted to do VR zombie maps, and we're trying, but VR wasn't mainstream enough for it to be cost-efficient. So instead, there are some guys that are picking up the slack, and they are highly skilled programmers and modders and they appropriately call themselves quad art they've been taking the official maps and porting them into a vr machine and then making them available for us to play they're really talented and they've given us some really great content so far and currently they're working really hard behind the scenes to release some more awesome stuff i feel like a lot of people are missing out on how awesome this is so i wanted to make a video show you guys all the equipment you need and then the cheapest places to get it and then i'll also show you quickly how to get it set up and running and then also show you some settings that a lot of beginners miss and these will be really helpful if you're new. So there's three things you're going to need. The first thing is a VR headset and I'm going to show you the cheapest one that works so good with this. The second thing is you do have to have a PC but you don't need like a monster PC. There are just some minimum requirements and I'll show you guys what all those are. Then finally you need the game itself. It's called Pavlov VR. It's on Steam. It's also on on PlayStation VR 2, but you're not going to get the zombie maps on that platform. The game is normally 25 bucks on Steam, but if you go to a site like G2A, you can find it less expensive there, and that's where I got mine. And because I'm showing their site and one that I do use, I reached out to them to see if they would sponsor this video, and they said yes, so massive shout out to them. What they do is offer a wide variety of gaming related products like game codes, software codes, computer hardware, and board games. And they don't sell anything themselves, but they provide a platform for sellers and buyers to trade. So you can get some really, really good deals. And right now they're doing something so awesome and I truly appreciate it. They're running a promotion to support females in gaming and it's called Girls Empowerment Campaign. Here's the campaign page here within their site. And if you scroll down, you can see all these crazy discounts. And I'm going to be getting the Hogwarts Legacy. This thing is almost 50% off. With me being in a male dominated industry, it's really nice to see this kind of support. And if you guys want to check out their site and check out these deals, I'll have a link down in the description and also the pinned comment. It does help to support my channel. So thank you to them and thank you to you guys. They do have Pavlov for Steam. It's global and it's about five to six dollars off. So that helps. So for the VR headset, what I've always used is the Quest models. I've had one, two, and and also the Quest Pro, which I absolutely love, but those are really expensive. But the Quest 2 is moderately priced. You can get a refurbished one of those on eBay for a few hundred dollars, and this thing is sufficient. It runs the game really, really well. It looks good, and you can use it wireless or wired. Most of the people I play with in the Call of Duty Zombies VR maps use this headset. In addition to the headset, you do have to have a PC, but you don't need, like I said, a crazy strong computer. I spoke to one of the programmers that puts together these COD Zombies maps for us in VR and I asked him, I said, what would you recommend for people to buy at a minimum, just like rock bottom price that will allow them to play these maps? And shout out to Soro, he said a minimum you want to have a GTX 1070 with a 6 core, 3.7 gigahertz processor and 16 gigabytes of RAM. He sent me a couple of links to show examples of pricing and for Best Buy, you can get one for about $750 and then on Newegg, about $899. I'll have these linked in the description if you guys want to check out the specs on these. Okay, so let's say you decided on a Quest headset, you got the PC and you're ready to go. What do you do next? You'll need to go to this website here. This is the Oculus Quest app. You'll download that to PC. This allows the headset to connect to your computer. I've already got it installed so it's not going to let me do it again but it's very straightforward and easy to do. Then you want to make sure you have Steam downloaded and Pavlov VR downloaded from that and then you want to download Steam VR. And of course you're going to want to go into the Pavlov VR workshop and download all of the COD Zombies maps that you want to play. Here's all the ones I've subscribed to and the parody maps are made by Quadark and then there's a few others and those are just so good. 
They are one-to-one Treyarch identical. Dorizon is in the process of being completed. You can walk around in it. It's quite the experience. They are doing the bow quest for this, but not the main Easter egg, but the bows will be epic. You've got Transit on there and then Mob of the Dead, which is really scary. I don't go play it alone. And I know some of my other male friends will not go into this map by themselves. It's just way too creepy. I would recommend getting Moon. It's amazing. Half the Easter egg is in there. You can check that out. Then there is a Star Wars map that's really cool. And then you definitely want to get Origins. That one is bananas. You can do all of the steps for the staffs and acquire them and use them, but you can't do the upgrades. But yeah, there is a ton of official Treyarch maps in here. And just search COD-Z, C-O-D-Z, and all of these popular ones will pull up. One other thing you're probably going to want to get if you don't have really good Wi-Fi, and that's going to be a link cable to hook your headset to your PC. It has to be a fast charging cable and it needs to be a USB 3.0 to a USB-C. And also make sure your PC has a USB 3 slot. This cable here will work great. I'll have a link to this down in the description. This is on Amazon and then I'll link another one that's really good as well and it's just a little bit cheaper. Once you have all your equipment and everything downloaded, you need to set up your headset to connect to your PC. You can do that with this link cable or you can do it through your Wi-Fi and it's called AirLink within the headset. The steps are pretty easy and there's lots of prompts to guide you through and if you have any troubles, I'll have this article that I'm showing on screen here linked down in the description. This will also help to guide you through that setup process and it also helps if you come across any issues. Now getting into the game can be finicky so I'm going to show you exactly what I do to make sure it starts and runs smoothly every time. You should have these three icons on your computer somewhere. The Oculus app, the Steam app, and then the Steam VR app. So I turn on my computer, I do not turn on my headset yet, and I go ahead and run the Oculus app. If you're going to be using the link cable to run your headset through the PC instead of Wi-Fi, don't connect that yet. Don't even turn on the headset, just leave that alone. So once you have this app open, you can just minimize it. You have to leave it open while you're playing the game, but you don't need to have it up on your screen or anything. Then what I do is I go ahead and open Steam and make sure I'm logged in, and then just minimize that also. You don't have to open the Steam VR, because I do that through the headset. So just open the Oculus app and the Steam app and that's it. Now I go ahead and put on my headset, turn it on. I don't connect it to my computer yet. I go into my settings, I go into accessibility and then mobility, and then I turn on the adjust height. What this does is it allows you to play sitting. Now you can stand up and play, and a lot of people do, but I like to sit in a really high chair and this allows you to do that. If you don't have this turned on, you're not gonna be able to move. Once that's on, now I'm ready to connect my headset to my PC and I just use my link cable and plug it into the side of the headset and it prompts me and connects me. Or you can hit this button here, says quest link, that will allow you to connect through Wi-Fi. What this is gonna do is put you into an entirely new environment. You're now going to be in the PC version of Quest and you'll be in this home that you can decorate and stuff. It's a lot of fun. Then you just open up all the apps that you have and it will see that you have the Steam VR and you just click on that and it's gonna take you into another new home environment. This is the Steam VR home and to get into Pavlov, you just hit the flat left button on the left controller and it's gonna open up this menu. Now you just use your controller and the trigger and click on the Pavlov game, obviously, and it will put you into it. Here's the main menu here, and all the settings are pretty straightforward, and there's one that I would highly recommend. That's under the input tab, and I would turn on auto sprint. That is gonna save your thumb in this game. Then if you go to play online and you click this tab here, you're gonna be able to go in and see all of the maps you've installed from the Steam VR Pavlov workshop. Just select one, confirm, and you are ready to go. Also, if you do decide to turn on the setting and sit in a chair to play, make sure it's a chair that doesn't have arms on it because you are constantly pulling guns from your hips and the arms will get in the way. One of the biggest features of this game and something that people have to get used to while playing is you have to physically reload the gun yourself. There's no automated reloading. You have to pull the magazine out and put a new one in and then find the cocking mechanism and those are all over the place depending on what gun you have. They try to make it as realistic as possible so like the perks and the perk machines, you have to physically go prone in your room to collect the change from underneath. Also, I'd like to report back that I did make it into the Pack-a-Punch room on Shadows of Evil, finally. If any of y'all saw that disaster of a video where I just absolutely lost my sh**, 
trying to get in there. It was so scary. The entire Quad Arc team and the guys responsible for this epic map had to escort me through it. I got to see it in VR and it was incredible. I was still really scared though with them even on the map with me. They're trying to get me to cross over right here and I was like freaking out, but they helped me. So big shout out to them. I appreciate it. And I really hope more people get to experience this. And if you have any questions, comment down below. I'll try to help out as much as I can if you're having issues trying to get set up or you have more questions about how to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video.